Hey guys, it's Andrew Esquivel here, back with another review, and today I'm going to be reviewing these crossbars for your uh, roof rack storage, as well as other types of devices that you would need crossbars for, to put on top of your car. So, first off, uh, the name of the brand and the model number will be in the description, and I'll also try and put it in the title, because it's kind of like a generic thing that I got off of Amazon. But um, first off, let's start with the car. I've got a 2003 Mitsubishi Outlander. And I've, you can see I've already got one of the roof rack crossbars on. Now it's made of some pretty sturdy metal and it's got rubberized grips on the portion where you lock down. And these are adjustable. This is the rubberized portion. Uh, this allows you to tighten it down, so once you get it in place, you just turn and it locks it down. Uh, basically, this part right here swivels this way or that way, depending on how wide you need the uh, adjustments for the clamps to be. Now, I've got another one over here. It comes in a set of two. And essentially, it was easy enough to just kind of put together in with one hand. And as you can see before, like I was saying, this slides back and forth. But the one down here does not appear to adjust as quick. Oh, no. I think it'll adjust. i turn it upside down. Yeah. So both of them adjust. So let's go ahead and take one of these. And we're just going to do a simple configuration. Just put it into place. And I'll try and get it to protrude out about the same as the other one. Because they're both the same size. And all you do at this point, make sure you have this little adjuster around the bolt so you can tighten it. Don't tighten it all the way yet because we have to go over to the other side. And adjust this one. One may need to be loosened, but these are supposed to be relatively universal. Now that we got it in place, you can tighten it down, and once you tighten it down, the bar does not adjust any longer. So, let me get this nice and tight. Now I'm pulling art, and it's not moving. So, don't worry about the bar swaying and whatnot during travel. This one uh, lock-in system locks it in place pretty well. There you go. So easy, you can use one hand to install them. Now these have a maximum load limit of I think about 150 pounds, which is pretty good. They only cost about $46 or so plus $12 shipping. Um, this is sold by Amazon as well as third-party vendors. I got it from a third-party vendor because Amazon was out of stock. And it got here in two days, so I was fairly impressed. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll be getting a roof rack storage soon to put on top of these crossbars. But, uh, you know, they seem well made. I don't think they're going to fail. They're made of pretty sturdy metal, pretty thick rubber, pretty hard plastic. So, yeah, check in the description. I'll put a link in the description to the crossbars themselves uh, on Amazon, so that way you can find it if you're interested. But there's really not much else to it. It's just a crossbar. I just thought I'd like to add my little two cents into this product because this is a cheaper alternative compared to the more expensive ones that range anywhere from 100 or higher. So this was, uh, I think, a steal of a deal in my opinion. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, show your friends, check out my other videos. i got plenty of them, and I'll see you next time.